Welcome back to Goldman Sachs. Welcome to Game Boy Mirage Simulator. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I'm not sure about... I see it. I can kind of see it. That guy was really turning, do you see him? He was. He was really spinning. He was like, he was desperately looking for someone to talk to. <laughs> oh, you! Find me! Oh! Touch my mons! <laughs> Say it's Nico. Nico. Yeah, hey, Nico, here. you want to go bowling? I cannot go bowling, I'm sorry, I'm my... You, you haven't played Grand Theft Auto 4, have you? <laughs> Probably not. No. Hey, was that the, the new one? That was the... Not the new one, but like the, tre the one with Trevor and stuff? Franklin? No, that's the one before that one. Oh. The one you're talking about is 5, which is mm -hmm. one of the... I think it's the only game... One of the only games I can remember that I bought and actually returned to the store. Are you serious? Yeah, no, because I played... What was wrong with it? N well, nothing, just my... It was just... It was like... The problem was me, not you. <laughs> because, no, I played Grand Theft Auto 4, um, like when I had an Xbox 360, and it was really good because, like, I don't know, like, a lot of people didn't like that game because it was more realistic, but I liked that because it was, like, it actually had a story. What do you mean by realistic? Like, it wasn't as, like, wacky and over the top like 5 is and, like, the previous oh, ones yeah. were. But I'm, like, I don't know, I'm boring and I liked that, so, yeah, whatever. Like, it, it had a good story, and, like, I liked it. Like, I'm not gonna spoil it, but, like, neither, like, there's two endings, and neither of them are good. Which makes sense, because you're, like, a thug, you know? You're, like... Oh, in four? Or, wait. In four, yeah. Okay. Like, there's two endings, but, like, both of them, like, involve someone dying. So, like, it, there's no good ending, which I thought was, like, it was That's smart. That's a good thing, yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, at the end of the day, like, you're basically a hired gun. Like, you're, you know, you're an assassin. Kind of, like, de detest kids from, like, playing it, I guess, to be like, hey, this game's pretty serious. Well, yeah, I, I don't know. I just, I liked the story, and I thought Nico was, like, actually relatable. Like... You know, the earlier games are more cartoony, which is fine too, obviously, like, that's totally fine. Oh, of course. But, like, I just, I don't know. I love seeing videos of people, like, going on the golf course in multiplayer mode with oh, yeah, golf like, cards like, It's other. definitely wacky. I mean, in Grand Theft Auto 4 yeah. can be wacky with mods, which there's some great mods for. Oh, of course. Like, Carmageddon and stuff, where all the cars just attack you constantly. Honestly, I just want a game where, like, you're in a big city and you just, like, goof around. It's like Crackdown. Like, uh, the thing? Yeah. That's a real game. It's like Grand Theft Auto, but like, but it's like, like the mod aspect. Crack is that a thing? Down is like Grand Theft Auto, except you are a cop with. and you're a superhero, kind of at the same time. I like this so far. Like, you have a super suit, and you can like <laughs> jump off of buildings and like fucking punch people and explode and stuff like that. Oh, I think. Cool. I've never played it, I just heard a lot about it. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, but, but then 5 came out, right? And I was really hyped for it because I loved four, and it looked like the same art style and all that. Yeah, I like. I like. And that. like, there's a there's infinite shit to do in that game, but like every character is retarded. <laughs> like <laughs> what, every what character you, you can't say retarded on YouTube is so stupid. Like the black guy's like, oh man, I just really gotta impress this guy that's like an idiot too, and that's his entire character. And then like the main guy Michael is like, man. I really, you know, I've lived this life of being a bank robber and it's made me really sad. Well, better go rob a fucking bank. And it's like, wow, you're, uh, so. I'm Trevor. And then Trevor's just like, Trevor. hi, I'm 4chan. And that was like his entire character, so, I don't know. Like I said, like, it's fine and I understand people like it, but for me, I just I literally, and it took like five hours to install too, which is the funny part. Oh, is this for your PC or? No, for a 360. Oh, okay. And I forgot you you download games on those consoles, dude. I love my Wii. No, like you, you <laughs> I bought it at the store, but like you have to install it. Like you had to put in like a disc and wait like three hours as it slowly installed because like how much? Yeah, no, because that was why, towards like, the Wii. end. Yeah, that was towards the end of the uh, 360 and like PS3 era. So like games mm. like you know they were getting big. Er. So uh, also I like how that sentence said, "Well, um, change Pokemon. Well, um, ch change Pokemon." <laughs> also, we're just You're we're just it. mowing grass here. We're just you know. <laughs> literally, literally, yeah, we're the just... Bellsprout. Yeah, we leveled up Pepperoni a little bit off-screen because it learns, I believe, a flying move at level 11. Yeah, she, she's like OP now, though. Look at this. She's yeah. mowing down all these Bellsprouts. I've never in my life would ever thought I'd say that Hoot Hoot is OP. Oh, I mean, right now... Can you make that the, the title of this episode? Hoot Hoot OP? Hoot Hoot OP? Question and mark? Then, and then get question please ban? <laughs> <laughs> hoot Hoot um, Excuse Ubers? me? Please, yeah, please ban. Hoot Hoot Uber Sweep? Bellsprout Noob? Can you imagine, like, everyone just plays with six Hoot Hoots? Like, she's the best, like, mon in the game. <laughs> hoot, and there's, like, this huge discussion for him, like, Hoot Hoot is the most overpowered Pokemon ever. <laughs> Not only is it an owl, but it only has one foot. Like, every so often someone, like, tries to put a Pidgey in there and, like, fucking noob. <laughs> Dude, Pidgey, really? You're pretty like, Pidgey. You don't understand. Hoot hoot? Like, he can just, like, no, he can't, he can't, <laughs> can't compete with Hoot Hoot. Uh, Hoot Hoot backwards is two two. Two. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We got foresight so, at some point, I don't know when. I just noticed that. 
actually, fun fact, in competitive battling, people do use Foresight. <laughs> Oh. Do you know about this? What, what does Foresight do again? I don't it know. makes it so you can use normal and fighting moves on ghost types. Really? So, yeah. That's what it does. Yep. I never knew. As a kid, I like. See if you I play. got it in Ruby or Sapphire or whatever, and I used it, and it's like, you used it. I was like, what did it do? <laughs> like, <laughs> it identifies the Pokemon, so you know it actually is. It's a ghost. Hey, Bellsprout. Well, oh. <laughs> you, you identify. I'm pretty sure it's a goose. Bell sprout. It's a goose. I uh, said go no goose. Ghost. Oh, you said it, goose. It's a, it's a goose. Is there a goose Pokemon? There is, but I think it'd be funny though if you grab the Bell sprout snout and it made like a honk noise, like one of those. Uh -uh. <laughs> it's a goose. <laughs> it's a goose. I told you. It kind of does look like that. No, but there is a. Uh, there is. There is. There's Ducklet and there's Swanna. In black and white. Is it really called Ducklet? It's called Ducklet. People are just like, hey, look, it's it's Butlet. People fucking like, wonder why I don't play Pokemon anymore. <laughs> Ducklet. I would love to play black and white sometime just to see you react to every Pokemon. Because every I Pokemon played... in that game is like a. <laughs> that was the other game that I returned. Game. Are you serious? <laughs> yes! I bought white version because I'm a white lad. And then I, I literally played, I think, the first three gyms and I was like, this game's too easy. I returned it. Oh my gosh. And that was the last Pokemon game I ever bought in a store. But it's got, like, every Pokemon in that game is, like, remaking all the black and white Pokemon, so you have, like, er, sorry. Okay, every Pokemon black and white is a remake of, like, the red and blue Pokemon, so you have, like, Rag and Rolla, which is the rock, and you have Geodude, which is the rock. Oh, yeah. And but, I kind of liked it, but also, it's so redundant after a while. I don't know, I just thought, like, it was really easy compared to, like, other I don't know, maybe it's oh, just because no, I'm older now. they get easier and easier every game, except for, like, Sun and Moon. There's this one part that I legit got troubled, troubled on. That's, that's encouraging. Yeah, there's, like, there's this, uh... Oh, what is it? They have... Well, first of all, Sun and Moon's like the coolest Pokemon game ever because it kind of breaks the mold of the series. Not everything's... It's still linear, but it, it flows differently, if that makes any sense. It's more open, I guess. Okay. Like, instead of having gym leaders, you have, like, trial captains, and you have to do trials, and then there's trial Oh, wow, leaders. I missed out on a lot. <laughs> and so, like, before every, like, quote-unquote gym battle, you have to do, like, some silly mini game, and it's kind of fun. Um, but one of them, now. you, like, you get, like... I think you have to, like... Oh, what is it? You, you go in this water area... And you're like, you get Lapras there and you surf on it. Because hey. by the way, HMs are, uh, they're obsolete, so you just ride Pokemon instead and they do all the HMs for you. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> like when you, like, at the very end of the game, you get Machamp, and Machamp just holds you in its arms and its other two arms are pushing boulders. Wait, seriously? <laughs> for strength, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. It's so great. But, uh, you have to fight, uh, Wishy Washy. Do you know that one? W Wishy Washy. Yeah, it's, no. it's a little guppy, basically. And it has, like, I think the lowest stats in the game compared to, like, Magikarp, right? So it's just like a new Magikarp kind yeah, of? Yeah, but at level 20, its ability activates, which gives it, uh, I think it's called schooling. So at level 20, its ability makes it turn to like a whole school of wishy-washy, and it's like this big fish that's like... That's made of little fish. Yeah. Hey, I like so, that. So it is, its ability just makes it like this huge overpowered fish, and that's what you fight as like the like the mini-boss, basically. Oh, that's so, kind of neat. And it was... Because it's so like... Like, how do I explain it? It's like super bulky, but it's like super slow. It's kind of like a bulky Gyarados. Like Imagine if Gyarados was like super tanky. Gyarados and s like Snorlax kind of? Uh, I don't know. It's kind of has stats comparable to slacking to be honest. Does it loaf around like a loaf of bread? It, it schools around. It schools around like Sorry. a school of schools? <laughs> I suppose, but also they introduced um, this calling aspect where the Pokemon can call a second Pokemon. Oh yeah, you told me like fucking Earthbound. <laughs> yeah, so it can call into battle Alamomola. I remember those. Yeah, the, the the called Big Love Disc. Right. And it has an attack. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, it has the ability healer, which a 30% chance to like remove the status condition of the Pokemon next to it. So Wishy Washy can't really be status, right? Ugh. To help cripple it. And it's got hex proof. And it also has I think I think it also has healing wish. It might have No, I think it just has the healer, but I know it can get heal pulse as well, which heals like any Pokemon on the field like half of HP back. Jeez. So this thing's like a freaking tank, and I did like PP stall it, I think. No, I used... You don't know about this one yet, Cutie Fly. It's a bug fairy. <laughs> Cutie <laughs> it's Fly. It's like a little hummingbird. It is so cute, it's one of my favorites, to be honest. But I, it has this attack that lowers special attack, so I kept doing that over and over so its water gun wouldn't do anything. And it was just like... It just it was, sounds like a pony character, doesn't it? Was, it? Like, Cutie Fly. <laughs> it was just watching two weak Pokemon, like, poke each other. Cause they right, they, like, poke <laughs> each other slowly to death, and you just heal it, and you're like, eh. It was, like, the hardest battle of my life. It was so funny. And also, there's a uh, rain, because, like, the Pokemon, like, summons are, so like, a it storm. Has drizzle? Hey, Peck. It does not have drizzle. It has schooling. Oh. So it but, has like, there's also, like, rain dance? Rain. <laughs> It doesn't have rain dance, but like just, just like before just the battle, raining. yeah, it is raining. So its water moves are powered up. It's like this huge fight at the very beginning of the game. It's really fun. Isn't it select to move? Yeah. 
Yeah, put Pack as the first. Oh, one. you have to hit select again. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. They did that in Red and Blue as well. It's like super nice. I don't know if people knew about that. I didn't know about that till like halfway through when I played it for like the first time as a kid, and I was like, oh shit, you can actually move moves around. That's nice. Dude, you know you didn't start the timer. Oh yeah, I'm aware. Oh, okay. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just doing it from from Mems. Oh okay. Wait, wait to break the fourth wall. No, Good okay. job. Let me just use the stab peck angrily. Look, for those who don't know about the lore of uh, Kamifaf. Kamifaf? No, it's Kami. No one pronounces it right. Kami, Kami. It's like Kami, like what you wear under your shirt if you're a girl. I thought it was Kami glasses. Are there glasses? I don't know. I don't know, but the lore, for those who don't know, our mom only gives us <laughs> 10 to 15 minutes to play a Game Boy game. And if we don't start the timer, we might just get interrupted mid-recording, so. Wait, mom. <laughs> Son, what are you playing in there? You, you playing one of those animes? You playing hentai over there? <laughs> playing with your amiibos again? Play, playing with some, some amiibos? <laughs> playing that PU again? Oh god. <laughs> PU is that like PM? Yeah. <laughs> I meant to say like Wii U, but. You yeah, playing with one of those, those, those switches again? Like on the light box? He used to just scrape her up. Oh yeah, it's like the one instance a trainer bothers. Like a. Like an, an NPC, NPC like, yeah. actually uses an item. It's, it's weird to see, isn't it? I think it'd be really funny if there's like this like slow awkward scene of him just like <laughs> you're not strong enough and like he pulls out a rope he like swings it goes to the top and is like climbing Hangs up like himself. Really <laughs> no. <laughs> no 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 I'm not strong enough. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, this guy is out of Pokemon right? Do that I guy? do I remember that correctly or do he, I have to fight he, him too? You have to fight him. He has I think Hoot Hoots and I'm just gonna let Seth, R Seth Rogen do his thing for a little bit. All right, he's but level eleven to left pack. I know, but he's been kind of hanging out in the but in the back seat on the. On the back broiler. <laughs> He's just been taking a few tokes on the bench. He's like, oh man, you get, you just go fight, fucking whatever, man. Is it time for me to fight? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so, shout outs to uh, Seth Rogen. <laughs> right. Can we, can we get like a Twitter on there? Can we, yeah, yeah, can we just like. Do you have any plugs? Hey, Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen, you wanna hook us up? <laughs> Seth Rogen, send us money and we'll, we'll sponsor your. Your, your so I guess we should probably move Razor Leaf up there. Yeah, except for Bellsprout. Kind of. It's a stab, quad right? Resist it. Wait. Bellsprout's grass and poison. Is it? I thought it was just grass. It's. I think it's grass poison. Like 90 to 95. Okay, I'll just attack. Man, that's weird. That's really weird. Let's check our Nintendo Player Guide, which is also nice my smartphone. <laughs> Did you have Primo Player Guides when you were a kid? I actually. Oh, where is you it? You still, still have one? It's in this room. Dude, I had one for gold, or not for gold, for, uh... Red, I had the gold and silver one. I had one for red, blue, and yellow, and it was actually, like... No, it was a good, like, thing to just read through multiple times. Oh, I agree. Like, they had all these, like, neat little things, and, like... I think it might have had the old man glitch in it. Like, like... Are you serious? Yeah, I like think... missing now? I think it was, like, a, in a legitimate publication like that, where they had... Yeah, the, the old man glitch. Grass poison. He is grass poison. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> why, why is like every Gen One grass Pokemon also poison? The only grass Pokemon that doesn't have two types is Tangela. I thought Tangela was grass poison. Wow, <laughs> oh what? Gosh. What the hell, man? You know why? Yeah. You know why? Because in the Pokemon game, in I think like the base set and maybe the jungle, like, two of the earlier earliest Tangelas mm -hmm. had like a poison, like a move. Oh yeah, poison they had poison powder. That's, that's why I thought of that. Dude, the uh. What is it? The game, the Game Boy Pokemon trading card game. By uh -huh. the way, oh my god, which we're gonna play, and I'm excited. I'm really excited. Yeah, for that. it's but the best the, game. The Tangela card was one of my favorites. I don't know why it was super bad. Cause for three Grass Energy, oh, no, you could was, do Poison Powder. It was really it was bad. One of my favorite cards. I don't know why. I used you, it in all my decks. You could use it in Venus or in Venus, or it would be okay. No, not even. No, it's a bad card. <laughs> no, I'm saying like you can like. You could crutch it with Venusaur, you know. Like it's not yeah, good, no, you but you could, could but get you, you could get away with it playing Venusaur. Right. But I love that card so much, and it had the it had the poison powder attack. That's like one of my favorite cards. But we'll we'll, we'll get to that later. That's that's its own story arc, you know. Hey, we got reflect. There we go. Wait, that's the one. Wait, that... it's gonna land. It's gonna. I thought I learned like ice cream at the same time. That would be weird though if we got like two. It's like, hey, you got reflect. Hey, you got something else. Hey, you got a free car. Well, some Pokemon <laughs> do that. They're like, want to learn stockpile? Okay. Wants to learn spit up? Uh, oh, wants to learn swallow? Okay. Well, that makes sense because it goes together. But yeah. like, reflect and light screen don't have to happen at the same time. They just kind of go hand in hand. I don't know. Oh wait, so I can stab this guy, right? Stab. With a uh, razor leaf. He resists grass with this flying typing. I know, but like, if I'm using a stab move, would it be? Better to use tackle or razor leaf. Razor leaf base sixty times one point five is nine forty five. Base sixty? I thought it was forty. It is. Oh no, it's 60. sixty. You're right. Yeah. Tackle depending. Uh, tackle changes power every gen, so I don't know if it's fifty or forty. I'm just using gen. tackle. <laughs> it's, it's so too... dumb. Oh. And it has a five percent chance to miss. But Good only job. In some gens. Good job, so Seth dumb. Rogen. Couldn't see over your fucking blunt. It. Oh. 
<laughs> Every game, tackle changes base power and accuracy, and it's really frustrating. Really? Some gens, it's 100%. Some gens, it's 95. Some, it's 50 base power. Some, it's 40. <laughs> Who it's like, is that Seth Rogen? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh god, it is! Oh, Can you I get your autograph? Do you still have your Mardi Gras beach from the party, dude? <laughs> yeah, I got him right here around my neck. Dude, never took off the weave. <laughs> can, we, can we just put a weave on Chikorita for this shot? Alright, that's good. Thanks. Mm. There we mm. Oh, this is a close, this is a bare knuckle brawl right here. <laughs> except neither except, of them yeah, have, except hands. Have, have hands. One has like... Bare nub. He has, he has, what, Seth Rogen has like two stumps with a big toenail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! And, and, and the other one has, I don't know, bird claws? Go, go, cows. Go close. Uh, we got a five. That's we did. Hmm, five. We got a five gum. <laughs> uh, hmm, five. Oh, is HM a, is a flash and HM in this game? Uh, I think so. Thank goodness it's optional. <laughs> Pretty sure. Yeah. I mean, I can always use my Prima guide if you want to. We don't really need flash, yeah. So should I just walk out of here like I'm? You can use escape rope. It doesn't matter either way. It depends. Oh, it's nighttime, right? Yeah. Do you want to catch a ghastly? Is there ghastlies this early? There are ghastlies, only Man, at night. You know way more about this game than I, I do. I love Pokemon Gold and Silver, yes. Uh, It's up to you if you want a ghastly. No, I definitely do, because like having a ghost Pokemon before the first gym? Yeah. That's, that's, that's just so weird to it me. It might be only... I don't think it's only... Look, look at that guy's head, it's going oh, above yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's so funny. I love stuff like that. Yeah, but the only problem with Gengar, though, is ghost moves are physical, and his physical attacks like base 60. But he learns all the elemental punches. Ghost moves are physical, physical in these? Yep. The fuck? Yeah. Wait, is this- No, this is and, after and, they separated physical and special, yeah, right? in 4th gen. No, 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 in this game, like, this is the first one they separated physical from special, right? Like, th oh, 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 attack? Sorry. Attack is for physical moves, special attack is for special moves. They added special, it's not just a special stat, it's special attack and special defense. Yes. Whereas in Gen 1, it was just special. I don't know why. So it Alakazam like was a... fucking broken. <laughs> oh yeah. Alakazam, uh, Blissey, um... Blissey wasn't in Gen 1, you mean Chansey? I mean Chansey, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ghastly. What the fuck? You want one? Yeah. I love Ghastly. <laughs> His sprite looks pretty good. His sprite in Gen 1 is like weird. It's oh, creepy. Oh, it's so spooky, yeah. But this one like looks oh, good. Oh crap, do we have any Pokemon? <laughs> oh, we have Barry. I'm using a potion, potion. We're okay. We're good, we're good. I'm gonna heal up my Rogan. Let's see, did you let Cupperoni take a few more, too, uh, too many Fisty Cups or? Oh God. Fisty Cups? <laughs> did I say Fisty Cups? Do we have a Sleep Cure, a Sleep Cure Berry? Uh. I don't think we, oh, we have a Bitter Berry, that's. Of confusion. course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, I think it's called like. I think that's the one thing we don't have right now. Is the sl <sighs> You didn't expect- I don't blame you. No, you could just wait for it to wake up. It's only attack you moves like Lick, who cares? You were gonna do this next time. <laughs> we're, we're gonna do this next time. We're gonna catch- catch again- catch a gang. Catch a Genghis. Catch a Genghis Khan. <laughs> we're gonna- next- next time on uh, the show, we're gonna want- we're gonna catch a uh, Kangaskhan. I just- I want this ghastly. I do. This is a spook. <laughs>